so i just click login with facebook so i just continue and get started and here i choose my businesses and click next and the phone number so now i just click next so now i click continue so it takes some time to get those values and now i click finish so you guys see now the embedded sign up is working fine hello everyone in this video we are going to see the whatsapp embedded sign up integration the first video we haven't seen how to configure it in the developer dashboard so in the second video we are going to integrate it in our code base so you can see we have an updated bootstrap kit to implement that the embedded sign up so first i am going to the embedded sign up page so this is the embedded sign up page in this first option you can see how to set up so it contains three parts so how to configure it so this is a video and second one is how to integrate it in the front end so first i am going to clone this repository so this is a bootstrap take it repository i just cloned this one so i just expand this repository you can see so i am going to delete this javascript file so first i am going to the front end of this one, embedded sign up so i just type cd bootstrap take it then cd embedded sign up i just list this paths and just going to install this one npm i so in my pc i'm having some configuration issue because of that i am using sudo but you can able to use npm install in your machine i just hit enter so all the packages has been installed inside that embedded sign up folder so i just go to the recommendation i'm closing this one so first you can able to see we have cloned the next.js application the second one change the configuration below values in fp.login.tsx so this is a file location so just click this file location you can see embedded sign up source app and components so i just go into that embedded sign up source apps and components so fp.login.ts you can see 789 we have to change with the actual values so currently i am in the developer dashboard so see the recommendation the first one is app id right you can see in the right side app id so how to get the app id so if you expand the app setting you can able to see basic so expand the app setting and just click the basics so this is app id the second one is you can able to see config id so if you want to get the config id go to the facebook login for business and click the configuration so i just go here and facebook login for business and i just click the configuration you can see this is a configuration id so i just copy so for the version i am going to keep the version as version 22 so i have entered the app id config id and version and the next one is change the backend url for changing the backend url in the typescript folder you can see the front end line number 182 and the same file i am going to line number 182 so here it's having one backend url so i am going to keep the backend url as 3000 and i keep this one as it is so now i am going to hide this embedded sign up and expand the typescript so i just type cd and uh, and go to one folder back and type ls so typescript so i just type typescript okay so now i am going to install these packages npm i so the packages has been installed inside the typescript folder so now i am going to change this dnb values the objective of this video is covering about the embedded sign up so i am not going to cover the setup of the bootstrap target so i have completed the dnb setup so the front end integration has been completed the second one how to integrate it in the backend so in your backend code if you are using typescript go to the file location and let's see the file location so file location is source util api handler so just expand the source util and api handlers so then i am going to the line number 179 so you can see version client id client secret so let's see what is version what is client id and client secret so for the version i'm going to keep this version at 22 and the client id and client secret so client id is the one 
called as app id here right so so we already copy the app id so that is here right so we need to paste the app id here that that's called as client id in this backend so then the client secret for the client secret we need to grab this token you can see this is app id and this is app secret so app id will come here and app secret will come here i'm going to replace this with the actual values so first i'm going to run the backend so i just type sudo npm run dev so you can see the backend our backend is running in 3001 and i'm going to run the front end so the front end running in localhost 3000 and the backend running is 3001 but what we have done previously is we changed that backend url as 3000 so now i am going to hide this backend and expand the embedded sign up and expand the source and the apps and then i am going to that uh, fe login and here i am going to change the backend url as 3001 so i have changed the backend url as 3001 hide this embedded sign up front end and expand the typescript and go to the dnv so here you can able to see the front end url i am going to keep this front end url as 3000 and moreover you have to make sure your front end url must be added in this allow domains for the javascript sdk and you can see this is not in the live mode because currently we are testing i am going to open this front end so you can see there's a page with the button so i just click login with facebook so i just continue and get started and here i choose my businesses and click next and the phone number so now i just click next so now i click continue so it takes some time to get those values and now i click finish so you guys see now the embedded sign up is working fine and that's all guys if you like this video please go to the youtube channel and hit a subscribe and like this video and thank you so much